Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at the word advice with S and the word advice with C. Now even though these two words are pronounced the same way and even though their definitions are a little bit related, we do use them in slightly different ways. You'll notice in my title that I have the word advice and advices with S before the E and the word advice and advices with C. We're going to be taking a look at how to use each one of these forms, but spoiler alert, one of these words doesn't even exist. So let's get started with the word advice with S. And if you spell it this way, it is a verb. It means to give a suggestion or a recommendation to someone about a particular problem or in a particular situation. And the structure that we typically use is we advise someone to do something. So for example, I always advise my students to watch English movies as a way to practice their English. So here, I is the subject of the sentence and I am using advice as the main verb of the sentence. I advise my students to watch English movies. Advice someone to do something. Now, being a verb means that you can conjugate this, uh, this form of the word advice in different ways. So for example, if you were to use the simple past, you would simply add D. Or if you are using the simple present, but the subject is he, she, or it, it would be necessary to add S, and that's how you get the word advices. So for example, uh, my doctor always advises me to eat more vegetables. Again, advice, S, E, S. And in the final example, I am using the present continuous. So imagine that I am having a legal problem at the moment. And well, my lawyer is advising me not to say anything. She is advising me to stay quiet. Uh, advice with C, on the other hand, is a noun. So it is a recommendation or a suggestion. So it's the actual recommendation or the actual suggestion rather than the action of giving the advice. Uh, so for example, whenever I have a problem, I always ask my mom for advice. She gives great advice. Now, one problem to avoid with the noun form of the word is that if you're learning English as a second language or a foreign language, uh, maybe the equivalent in your language is a countable noun. Uh, however, in English, it is not. So the word stays as advice regardless of whether it's one suggestion or two suggestions or three suggestions. So the word advices doesn't really exist. So don't say, let me give you two advices. Just say, let me give you some advice, again, regardless of how many actual suggestions you make. Uh, if you feel that it is important to count the number of suggestions for whatever reason, it is possible to say, uh, let me give you a piece of advice. And in that context, you could also say, let me give you three pieces of advice. So basically, you're counting the pieces rather than the advice itself.